Hello everyone, this is Prashant. Welcome to Third Day Class. Today we are going to see the post request. Okay. So first of all, so what is the post request? So previously we studied about get request. Get request is getting the information. So post is to use two things. Either sometimes create or update. What is create? Suppose you are uh, Facebook, you are going to create account. Like so, what are the information you give? You give a first name, last name, mail ID, date of birth, those things. So these things are a payload of your personal details. So when you insert this data in your Facebook, Facebook will take this and create account for you. So you are a new user. So whenever the new user or new account or anything's data is created newly, we need to use the post request. Okay. So first thing we are going to see in a swagger. Okay. So you guys know this is a website we are uh, using. So I will give this URL in the as usual description. So this is the post request code. Okay. So basically what is the request type is post okay and this is the url path okay this is the domain and this is the path okay so when i told you like post we need a first thing is we need a payload what is the payload whatever information is required from the client perspective so we need to get it from the client so in this data we need a id from the client we need a title and we need a due date and completed this four details we need to create a new activities okay so first of all we are going to try it i'm going to click on the try it out so see this it is editable mode so i'm here i'm giving like 20 20 is my id and this is myself i'm putting a title as prashant api testing course okay so i'm giving this title and i'm giving the same uh, date and completed okay so on this header so basically you guys know this is a json format like key and value so that's why we giving a header as a application json okay i'm going to click on this execute button when you click on this execute button see this this is a rand this is the curl command and basically this is the url we entered right now and these are the intermediate response is coming what is the response is 200 that means success whatever the information we provided our server is taken this request and giving the response as success and see this it's giving the data as a whatever data is informed it is already stored in the database okay so this is how we need to do the post request first is i'm coming again we need to give the what is the path and we need to have a payload we call this get payload like request payload after that we executed this command and it's giving a response response code as 200 and response body is this is the response body okay right now the same pattern we are going to do in the postman okay so i'm opening the postman so yesterday i taught you how to create a postman new request see this so the postman will open like this you want to click on the new button so in this you want to select the request first thing i'm going to give a name you can give any name so i'm going to give a new activity so this is my api name and i'm selecting which folder i need to store i'm selecting a course and saving to the course right now see this it is created i'm going to see the first thing is i need to change the request method type what is the method type post after that next thing is i need to give the url right so what's the url this is our url okay so i'm going to give the url next thing is we need to give a header so previously yesterday we give a plain text right now what is the header today it is either accepting text plain but what is the content type content type we need to give a json two things one is what it will accept and what is the content type two things we need to give okay so right now i'm going to give that first one is accept so i'm going to give accept accept is always going to be text plain next thing is content type so we are going to give a content as a json so for this we need to select a application json see this we give accept and contains next thing is we need to give a payload so for this we need to click on the body tab in this body tab we need to select the raw because we are sending a raw data so raw data there are so many uh, variations 
right now we are sending in a format of json okay so next thing is we need to copy the payload okay so once you get the payload i am pasting here so here i am changing like this is like uh, like a 250 the id is uh, like 150 and this is the course i am giving it two and remaining data are same okay right now i am going to click on the send button see this first thing we changed the request method type then we give the url then we give the all the headers then we are giving the body in the raw as a json okay when i click on the send button if you see here so i'm just maximizing the below screen see this the success code is 200 as expected and what is the response body response body this is the response body and this is our response header see this is account is created a 150 so this is how we need to give the create a new account okay so cool then so the same process right now we saw swagger and uh, postman the same process we are going to automate right now into the automation okay let's move on to the automation so i'm going to use a open a pycharm so uh, last class we studied about how to install a pycharm how to create a first request type okay those things if you missed the video please see the day two video so day to day only we done all the things and we created an api course project i'm opening that project and right now i'm going to create a new file first this for this post request so i'm right clicking on the project i'm closing this right click on a project go to new so it takes a couple of seconds to load new in this i'm creating a python file and this is a post call right i'm giving a post call that is the file name in the file name first thing is what we need to do we need to import uh, the request so what is the request request is the library in the python it's need to it's helping us to create a rest api automation okay to automate the rest apis generally okay first thing is we need a headers right so i'm going to give a header i'm creating a header so what are things we need to give first thing is we need to give the accept right so accept so what is the asset condition so asset condition is text plain next what is the next thing is we need to give the content type i'm copying the content type i'm giving it in a single bracket so in um, python single bracket and double bracket both are contained as a string okay and we need to give a application json that is my value so this is a json format like key and value format okay right now i have a header next thing is i need to create a payload right like this is a request you can give any name i can give you like request payload we can use only underscore okay not a hyphen so this also i'm going to create a json format so what we need to give i'm just i'm simply copying this body okay and i'm pasting here so i'm removing this one extra bracket i already put a bracket so so this i need to give in uh, another condition uh, in python there is uh, no small letter t we need to give a capital letter t that is a true uh, boolean value um, in uh, java generally we give a small t and small f for true or false but python we need to give a bigger picture okay as i said here like double quotation as well as single quotation both it's considered as a uh, strings okay right now we have a header and uh, request body next we are going to create a uh, our post request so response this is the variable i'm creating and i'm calling the our request class like i'm importing a request class in this yesterday we studied about get request so that's why we used a get but today we are using what post okay so if you see the post we can we want to pass the url data is a get payload and the headers and params and cookies we'll see in the coming classes okay so i'm selecting this first we need to give the url what is our url 
this is our URL. See this? I am copying this our URL. I am uh, giving double quotation. I am pasting it. Next thing is I need to pass the header. So I am typing header. See this? When I type HEA, so it automatically comes. So we need to select the header. In this header, I need to pass our header variable. After that, data. So that is the payload. Okay. So for data, we I need to pass the request payload because in this variable only what we have I'm, I'm I'm giving a space to understand you make okay see this so we give the URL and we give a header we already stored it and we have a data and we already store the data okay so right now I'm going to show you the, uh, print the response code so print so th this is the variable response and what is the method yesterday we studied to get a status code we need to call the status code method okay and to print the response body we need to get the response dot json or data so i'm using a json okay so right now i'm right clicking on this file how to run it right click click on the post call okay see this some this bad request is coming so I find it the solution. Uh, generally, we will give a data. Uh, if you are giving a single data, text means we need to use a data. So, but right now we are giving in a JSON format, right? The payload. So, I'm um, we need to give a JSON instead of data. Okay. So basically, data we use only for only datas. Like in the means like uh, combo of strings or combo of text. When you have a JSON format as a payload, we can directly give a JSON. So uh, I am clicking as run button. So see this, the status is cool 200. That is my expected and the ID title. So these are as we stored as the input. Okay. Suppose I want to change a different payload. So what I will do, I simply give a 155 and I'm making as a three course and I'm running it. See this again uh, to success 200. This is my ID and this is the course name we updated okay so right now what we need to do as a tester we need to do the assertion so what is the first assertion asset response dot status code equal double equal to what should be 200 so that is our as usual testing okay and if you want to verify anything So right now I'm going to teach you the very important topic method from how to fix the data from a response body because in a testing we'll do the validation of the response body whatever the data is coming. See here in uh, I'm sending 155. So how a tester will verify the same 155 is coming in the response body. Okay. So uh, already we know this is a response body right response.json. So I'm going to store in a data like data equal to response body dot response dot json okay so i'm storing in this variable okay right now i need a id from the uh, uh, response okay what i'll do print data square bracket i need to give a id because i need a id data right from the response i'm clicking here see this id is coming so what i will do simply in our session Asset. So simply, I will copy the data equal to equal to 155. If 150 is coming, obviously this assertion is a pass because I am sending ID as a 155. Okay. So I am removing this part. Print. I don't want this print this. Okay. See this? It's successful. It didn't have a failure. Okay. So this is how we need to fetch the data from the response body and we need to do this okay so uh, thanks for joining uh, in this post request call if you have any doubts please put me in the comment and uh, we will discuss more on uh, other next sessions okay uh, if you like the video please subscribe and share to your friends uh, thanks for joining in